On Sunday, Minister of Foreign Affairs Carl Greenwich held a series of outreach sessions in Region 6. Several topics were discussed, but the main topic on the minds of the residents of New Amsterdam and Caribbean was the ongoing border feud with Venezuela. That is our number one priority because without a border, without a country, there's no point in having either a prime minister, a vice president, or a minister of foreign affairs. Venezuela, on the one hand, is claiming, as I say, practically all my time space, two thirds of our land territory, but you will not have forgotten that in terms of the new real triangle, our neighbors to the east are also claiming that land. And we are unique in a sense uh, at this point in time as being a country in which the claims of two of its neighbors will practically extinguish the country. The claims of our two neighbors alone, just those two, would practically extinguish the country. The 2015 discovery of oil reignited the century-old disagreement. The world-class discovery is expected to transform the Guyanese economy, courtesy of ExxonMobil. With this in mind, Minister Greenwich expressed disappointment in the consistent media tax on the oil company. We have a set of people here devoting themselves now to consume the company and to alleging all sorts of malfeasance. Even before a single drop of oil is produced, most companies have been afraid to come and operate uh, oil concessions in there. Why? Because of the claims and the fear of our neighbor. And you might say, well, why? It's a very friendly country, but it's very nice. Of course they are. But in 2013, they seized the best in that is world. And just to show you what is real in Paris, Suriname, which is even smaller than Ghana, seized our rate in 2004. The army can't defend you from that. The army can't defend you from that. The first line of defense of the frontiers is a diplomatic line. The Ministry of Affairs and the other agencies of government. Much of the media bashing originated from the lack of transparency regarding the contract, a situation that is expected to end in a matter of days. Last Tuesday, Cabinet decided to publicly release the contract with ExxonMobil sometime this month. This is a reversal of the government's previous position. Minister of Natural Resources Raphael Trotman voiced hesitation to disclose the contract's details, citing confidentiality clauses and national security concerns. But there may be greater confidence in Guyana winning the case. Last week, DemoireWave.com reported an unidentified source within the government claimed that ExxonMobil has set aside 15 to 20 million U.S. dollars to assist Guyana in legal fees if the case were to go to the International Court of Justice. If the U.N. Good Offices process is unsuccessful in coming to a resolution by the end of December, the ICJ is the next possible step. I'm Esther Sobers reporting for Channel 2 Headline News.